for Holsworthy. I call the member for Monero. Mr Speaker, thank you. And I'm also rising to talk about the impact of the budget on the Monero electorate. Not surprisingly, my take on the budget is somewhat different to the last speaker. Um, and I'm just amazed at times to hear the sort of uh, pleadings of a, of a party that was in office for 12 years and says that everything was perfect when they left and apparently everything has gone to pot in six months. Um, but I'm even more amazed sometimes at a party that thinks that it's uh, electorally appealing for it to say that you can spend as much money as you possibly can on untargeted assistance for people and get um, good results out of it. The only results you get out of it is, is appeal to um, some of the uh, uh, some people's um, uh, votes, I suppose, because untargeted assistance simply means you have budgets that go out of control, and that's exactly the backdrop that we saw coming into this uh, this budget. So what we've seen from the government has been a very responsible process of bringing the budget under control, of funding uh, targeted measures to help people in our communities uh, without privatising and without putting our estate into debt. And we heard in question time today some of the figures of the billions of dollars, literally billions of dollars a year that we'll be saving in interest payments because we are not engaging in the sort of profligate spending that we saw from the uh, Liberals and Nationals in the last uh, year of their time in government and which their amazing uh, members stand up in this place and bleat on about where they think you can fund everything but still have a triple A credit rating. Um, and, uh, but then some of them, uh, to contradict each other, then say that the AAA credit rating is more important than anything, not actually understanding that that's actually just a mechanism to, um, to the cost of borrowing. Anyway, um, in the Monero electorate, the, uh, the budget has delivered a number of really important election commitments which I made during the last election. So uh, planning is underway now for Gugong High School. That's an area of high growth. It's going to have um, a significant population. It's a new town just outside of Queanbeyan and it is growing very fast. The uh, nationals in government decided that they didn't need a high school. Uh, it was somewhere further down the track and they didn't allocate any funds to it. We will be building it, we'll be opening it in the first term of 2027. Stage two of Jerobrumba High School will be built. Uh, stage one was finally built by the coalition uh, 12 years after they first committed to the people of the area that they'd built a high school, 12 years. Uh, and it'll be 13 years before it's open. So I'm very pleased that we'll be actually building stage two of that straight away. There's work on the Ellerton Drive Kings Highway intersection included in the budget. And uh, Quimby and Palaran Council will be receiving $4.3 million from the Emergency Road Repairs Fund. In Snowy Monero, uh, they will be getting a 6.791 million share of that regional emergency roads fund, and that's absolutely vital for a shire with 2,600 kilometres of, um, of council roads to look after, and roads which have had significant impacts from recent weather events and from a council itself, which uh, has, uh, is, is one of the many councils in regional New South Wales which has been forced to go in for rate increases and, and put substantial rate increases in place just to be able to keep up that level of services that people expect to see. Now, those, uh, those things are very important. There is um, one of my uh, very high profile promises that I made during the last election was for $840,000 to go to the Karawana aged care facility in Bombala. And I've spoken before in this place about that facility. I'm really thrilled that that's in this year's budget, along with um, a commitment down the track to uh, 30 uh, more aged care beds at the Bombala MPS. Uh, they're all things which are all about providing services to the people of Monero. And the number one thing that I talked about in the election, the number one thing I talk about now, and the number one thing that previous speakers from the opposition on this budget just don't get, is that it's about more than just having buildings. It's about having the people inside the buildings who provide the services, the nurses, the teachers. So our work uh, on, on raising, on improving working conditions is going to have a real impact on minimum safe staffing levels in our hospitals, a real impact for Cooma and Queanbeyan and our MPSs as well. And in our schools, the thing that I heard over and over again about school stu students spending so much time in the playgrounds instead of the classrooms, I had complaint after complaint. But during the election campaign, not one acknowledgement of the problem even by the Nationals then member, not one acknowledgement of the problem by their minister, but this government in its first six months has taken action which will make a real difference in that area and it's particularly an issue in Queanbeyan 
where the much more competitive salaries in Canberra were a big attractor. So I'm very proud to be um, the member for Monero in delivering today 